Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures and it's your Midday Market Minute. Equities choppy but range bound. In overhead, we're not showing through resistance from that rebound yesterday overnight. Highs into the early part of this morning, 41 mid 70s, 4186. Good resistance up there. Same way, 13,700 in the NASDAQ. All those levels on the Morning Express, but to the downside, supports have held. So we are seeing really, really range brown trade, choppy trade. We've been calling for this choppy trade. We remain very cautious. Again, it's going to matter where we close. The data has been important. ISM not manufacturing, a little soft. Still decent data, still good data, but softer than expected. You have Cleveland Fed President Mester, Boston Fed President Rosengren, both non-voters this year, but voters next year, pointing to inflation rising over the summer. Not really hawkish comments, but you can start to see a little bit of the Fed's narrative going back to Kaplan, uh, potentially turning a corner. Markets are paying attention to that. The Treasuries, bonds overall higher since the lows of last week, but, but they haven't extended gains. Very quiet right now. Everybody's really leaning on this non-farm payroll report Friday. We've been talking about it. It's going to be a big, big report. And last week's Fed meeting is really going to be interpreted through this non-farm payroll report on Friday. Um, and then looking at crude oil, you have, the, you have the data here. Big draw on crude. Gasoline it was a little bit of a build. Uh, you're seeing refinery utilization tick up a bit too. So that's, that's all bullish crude oil. We're up to get some big resistance here in the June contract. We remain very bullish. As long as this consolidation is, is constructive, we are long in the September contract. I wrote about that today. Again, we remain very upbeat as long as any pullbacks are constructive. And then gold and silver, speaking of constructive pullbacks, yesterday's reversal, 1760s and gold is, have held, 26 bucks and silver have held. So we're seeing this being building a good landscape in order to, to extend gains at above 1800 if the dollar is on board of treasuries on board and then copper running out of steam a little bit it feels exhausted we have a nice little trade in copper a butterfly uh, put spread with a kicker give us a call if you want to hear more about that 312-278-0500 and remember futures trading involves substantial risk of loss it is not suitable for all investors